Hello everyone, I'm Vijaya from Vijaya Academics. Uh, today I'll be going to discuss about NIOS, Learning Beyond Boundaries. Now, uh, what is NIOS? NIOS is the National Institute of Open Schooling. What's set up as the National Open School in 1989 by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. As an autonomous organization, it provides educational opportunities to persons who wish to study further and qualify for a better tomorrow. The mission of NIOS is to provide the education to all with special concern for girls and women, rural youth, working men and women, SCs and STs, differently able persons and other disadvantaged persons who because of one or the other reason could not continue their education in the formal system of education. The aim of the NIOS is to reach the unreached. The NIOS has taken special initiatives for imparting education to jail inmates by setting up study centers in jails across the country and granting full fee exemption. The NIOS operates through a network of 23 regional centers two sub-regional centers, two NIOS cells, and more than 8,000 accredited institutions, AIs, accredited vocational institutions, AVIs, and accredited agencies, AAS, popularly known as study centers. These centers are located in India, Nepal, and Middle East countries for academic courses, admission, each through online only. Now, uh, today uh, I'll be going to discuss about this OBE program in detail. Now, what is the OBE program? The Open Basic Education program was initiated in June 1994 with the aim of providing primary and upper primary education through alternative means of open schooling to adult neo-literates who are not able to take advantage of the formal system of schooling. It is an equivalency program and provides three tier education under OBE program. That is level A equivalent to class three, level B equivalent to class five, and level C equivalent to class eight. In the year 2000, the program was extended to cover children between six to eight, 14 years age group, also with the help of accredited agencies, that is AAS. NIOS reaches out to marginalized group who may have been able to attend school earlier due to physical and the social inaccessibility by offering them an alternative channel through open and distance learning, that is ODL. Mode of education from primary schooling, the flexibility of the open learning system will further ensure a higher retention rates as well as uh, in increase, an increase in the learning achievement as learners would now be able to pace their learning. This exercise would provide high quality schooling to children with an aim to achieve universalization of elementary education. The Open Basic Education Program has been recognized by the government of India as equivalent education to that of formal schools for purpose of further education and employment. Different states have indicated their interest in the program for their out of school children as well as for adolescent and adult new literates. The OB is offered in some states as an equivalency program under the continuing education that is CE scheme of the National Literacy Mission that is NLM. Now, what is the standard of the education under recognition? There are three national boards of school education. This might be you aware of it or not. NIOS, CBSE, and CISCE. The National Institute of Open Schooling is an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Education Government of India. It is vested with the authority to impart school education up to pre-university level, conduct examination, and award certificates. The certificates awarded by NIOS are recognized for higher education, government jobs and for all other purposes. Now, here the levels of the OBE programs are given. Level A is equivalent to standard third 
level B is equivalent to standard fifth and level C is equivalent to standard eighth. Now let us see in details downside. Multiple literacy system for OBE program, target groups, basic literacy, vocational education courses, secondary educational courses, and secondary education courses. This is applicable for level C. Now C, the basic literacy, uh, this is the level A. Then target group is, uh, uh, if the student has completed seven years, then that student can take admission for level A. Next, level B, the child who has completed nine years, that child can take exam. But they, the child can take uh, admission here for level B. Then level C, plus 12 years, that person, that child can take admission for level C. In level C, the additional things are given, vocational education course, then secondary education course, and senior secondary education course. These three things are applicable for level C. Let us see in detail now, target group. The program is being conducted for children six to 14 years age group and adolescent adults of 14 years of age and above. The target group consists of following categories of learners for children of six to 14 years of age group. Now, the first point is school dropouts from formal education system. They can take admission here. Left outs from Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, that is SSA. Out of school children, both boys and girls. Children in particular girls of marginalized group, such as scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, minorities, migratory population, nomads and below poverty line, that is BPL persons. Children with special needs. They can take admission here for this program. Now, what are the features and the flexibilities? Registration period varied for maximum period of five years. If once you have enrolled for this program, uh, this is valid for five years. Flexibility of choosing any language as the medium of study from Hindi, English, Sanskrit, Urdu, or any regional language. Minimum age for admission is seven years as on 31st March of the year. Assessment by the accredited agencies as per the guidelines provided by NIOS. First examination at the at any level in the next year from the year of admission. The facility of credit accumulation is available for OBE learners. A learner would be eligible for the certificate only when he, she qualifies in all the subjects for the concern level. A child should have attained the age of at least seven years at level A nine years at level B and 12 years at level C for admission. The minimum duration of study for each level A, B, C is one academic year. Now, what is the scheme of studies? Minimum one language from group one, minimum two subjects from group two and minimum one pre-vocational subject from group three, total four subjects. See, for level A, total four subjects are there. And here, level A, level B, and level C are given. And uh, groups are also given. From these groups, uh, the child has to select the subjects. Now, for level A, four subjects are there. For level B, a minimum one language from group one, minimum two subjects from group two, and minimum one pre-vocational subject from group three, that is total four subject. If you will see here for level A, four subject, level B, four subject, and for level C, minimum one language from group one, minimum three subjects from group two, and minimum one pre-vocational subject from group three. In this way, for level C, total five subjects are there. So level A is having four subject, level B is having four subject, and level C is having five subjects. Each subject has been given a subject code. List of the subject code is given in table two. A learner can be 
can take up to maximum seven subjects, including minimum one language or more, maximum three languages. A learner has freedom to opt for one additional pre-vocational subject at level B and C. See, here the list is given. Group one, the list is of language. Then group two, academic subjects are given. And group three is pre-vocational subjects are given. From that, uh, that particular child has to choose the subjects. Now, NIOS, off, NIOS offers online admission facility to its learner at all three levels of OBE program. The detailed procedure of online admission is given below. Now, how you are going to take the admission over here? And this admission is online only. Admission are 100% online through website www.nios.academy.ac.in and the subject portal of NIOS www.sdmis.nios.ac.in in order to facilitate the learner to register for admission. Learner can directly register online by following the procedure laid down by OBA program. Now, what is the procedure? Here, three options are given. Register online directly by following the procedure laid down in section 2.3. Visit nearest AA center, that is study center, and take their help for online registration. The list of accredited agencies, that is AS, is available on an iOS website. And third option is visit the concerned regional center and iOS and take itself for online registration. The list of the regional center is at Appendix A. Now, what is the admission period? The online admission is open for all the learners as per the laid down eligibility criteria for the level A, B, and C. Admission period for session 2022 and 23. Uh, this is the uh, last year that has been given for A, B, C from 1st April to 15th September and examination in which the learner can appear for the first time is February 2023. Procedure for online uh, admission. Log on NIOS website www.nios.ac.in or the student portal NIOS www.sdmis.nios.ac.in and read the instructions and procedures carefully and keep ready all the necessary information uh, and scan images or photographs, signature relevant documents as per the entry requirement uh, given in the table four. Now, what are the requirements? See, uh, admission level requirements, as we have discussed, uh, the age limit is seven years, nine years, and 12 years. Okay, then last date uh, for admission is 15 September. Uh, this is of last year, 2022. Uh, Minimum educational qualification, no need. Then essential supporting documents are birth certificate, then passport uh, issued by government of India, original transfer certificate, school living certificate showing application date of birth issued by the school, last attended uh, by the applicant in case of government school, the transfer certificate, school living certificate, then Aadhaar card, uh, then proof of residence, proof of residential address for attached, a copy of any one of the following that is Aadhaar card, ration card, water, telephone, electricity bill. Then for the learner living in the rented accommodation, any proof permanent address along with the proof of present uh, rented accommodation in the name of the parents guardian will be accepted. A learner belonging to category category of the street children, dis, uh, destitute, uh, migrants, uh, slum dwellers, orphans, not having any residential address at present will have to fin furnish a self-certificate stating the category mentioned above and certify to not have own residential address. However, for the purpose of correspondence with NIOS, such learners will have to furnish contact address. The self-certificate has to be uh, countersigned by the AA, NGO, orphan uh, home with the complete name, designation and address along with their official stamp. Then uh, other documents, uh, recent passport size uh, color photograph, signature, learner, disability certificate, if any. Now these are the important points uh, to consider while filling up the application form. Please note that online registration for admission 
closes on the last date of admission cycle. A learner submitting application for the admission is required to make payment of processing charges, either with the application of within 10 days uh, of submitting application online. In case a learner submits online application from admission towards the closing date of admission cycle, then such learner is required to make online payment of the charges within five days of the closing date of the cycle. After successful verification of the documents, processing charges and the information submitted by the learner during the registration, the admission will be confirmed and the enrollment number will be generated. Appropriate communication will be sent to the learner through the email and SMS after the admission confirmed by an hour. If the transition fails, then the learner has to make the transition again. The learner make payment later as per the norms by logging into the student portal of NIOS using the username and password sent by the registered email. The dashboard in the learner's login will permit management of all the students related activities through e-services. The learner is advised to furnish correct and authentic information and to upload valid authentic and relevant color photo, color document in the respective sections in the application form. No changes shall be permitted in the application form after the payment is done. Furnishing incomplete, wrong information or uploading irrelevant photo documents will result in an adverse taking action to cancel the registration admission in any point of time. For queries regarding online admission, the learner can email to isc at the rate nios.ac.in. The learner is not required to send, submit hard copy of the admission form and documents, but it is mandated to upload original scan copy of required documents online if required by NIOS management or if any other discrepancy is found in the submitted online application form documents, the learner shall be required to submit the printed application form along with the documents and photograph. This requirement will be communicated to him, her through email, SMS. One mail, email uh, address can be used only once and one mobile number and one address can be used for registration of maximum three learners. A username, a password will be created for the learner and the detail will be sent to the authenticated email address, which was mentioned in the basic detail of the learner. This email also contains the instructions for further processing. Keep the user credential, username and passport safe. See, uh, now procedure for online admission through regional centers, that is AA center. All AA centers and IOS are authorized to open an online registration counter for facilitating learner to take online admission. They will also help learner in pre-admission counseling and features of NIOS. The AA will follow the same procedure for online registration as mentioned in the section 2.3. Now, what are the charges for level A? Uh, the charges are 300 for level B, 500 and for C, 800. In addition to the above, rupees 50 will be admissible for every online transaction. How to apply by processing charges? The fee can be deposited online through credit card, debit card, net banking, available payment gateways. Cancellation order of admission is also there. The processing charge a paid is short. The supporting documents are not appropriate. False documents have been submitted uh, if incorrect or the wrong information is given. Admission once cancelled will not be reconsidered. Processing charges once paid will not be refundable on any account. Now, confirmation of admission. Admission uh, to a particular level is confirmed by NIOS by issuing an online identity card having learner's admission particular as per the record available in NIOS. In case of discrepancies is noticed, at any stage of admission, and even if the identity card has been issued, the admission will be canceled and result will not be declared, even if the learner appeared in examination. Do not check the particulars given in the identity card in case, do check the uh, particulars given in the identity card in case there is any discrepancy in learner's personal details, address, photo, etc. The same should be corrected through e-service immediately. 
the learner should retain the identity card carefully till the completion of the study of NIOS. The correction in the admission record will be made as per the rules only. Now, what are the other facilities after admission through e-services? Issue of duplicate identity card, change in subject, additional subject, uh, change in the study center, issue of duplicate documents, minor correction of spellings, name, father's name, mother's name, guardian name, change of learner's name, correction of date of birth, name, father, father's name, mother's name, guardian's name. In this way, this is the admission procedure they have given. Uh, if uh, the students, they want to take uh, the admission for the open schooling. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my channel. If you are new, new to my channel, please like and subscribe it and keep, keep in touch for getting more in, more such information and keep updating yourself thank you thanks a lot